Hey, welcome back to the channel. Thank you all subscribers and new subscribers, old subscribers. And if you're watching this and haven't subscribed, please like and subscribe. That'd be great. Uh, so anyways, I'm home early from work. Uh, the wife had a cold last week. Now I've got it. And it's kind of really bad timing, but we won't get into that because it's not important. But I just had a shower trying to clear the sinuses. Hoping to go to bed early. I got plans with a bottle of NyQuil and pillow later. Uh, but anyways... Uh, so this is the Troy Belt saw versus the Husqvarna 55. Now you're going to watch both videos, uh, saws running independently first, and then you can watch them going head to head. Uh, that 42cc Troy Belt, those are at Home Depot for $198 Canadian, uh, so that'd be like 150 US. Uh, they don't keep them in store, you gotta order them and then pick up at store, but, uh, like this one needs a little more port work than that Black & Decker one I had now that Jim... Jim saws and stuff has that now. Uh, uh, anyways, uh, so it's going up against a pretty much stock 55. All that 55 has is a muffler mod, which is just a I just blasted three eighths hole into the muffler, which I mean it did make a difference. I mean, but uh, yeah, so 42 cc Troy belt that costs you know 150 dollars US, 200 dollars Canadian basically. Compared to a 55, and 55s here in good shape, like this one. I bought that down in Cochrane, Alberta. I was going to visit Jim. I paid 200 bucks for it, Canadian, and that's a steal of deal because most people you see them, they want between three and 400 dollars. Which I guess they made up until 2006, so they really aren't that old if they're in good shape because people bought them. And in my opinion, they're I mean, a stock 455 rancher. Would, might beat one in a race, but I think like the older Rancher series, like the 51, 55, they are much better saws because they are clamshells. Not only are the current Rancher, oh, Rancher series clamshells, part of the crankcase is plastic, which, I mean, I'm sure it's fine, but in my mind, that's just, that that's not a very, you know, with the price they charge for those saws, it's kind of messed up how they're built because they're built like junk. They're not built any better than a fucking, excuse my language, than a, like a Poulin Poolin Pro, like, like really, like, is it any, is the 450 Rancher any different than the Poolin Pro 5020? Probably not by much, like, seriously, they're probably the same saw, parts probably interchange, I could be wrong, but still, they're, they're in the same class, they're both, you know, saws people buy, because they look at the displacement, but anyway, so enjoy the video, uh, after this, I'm going on a NyQuil journey, uh, but anyways, uh, take it easy. This is all footage from yesterday. It was edited last night. I know who wins between the two saws, but you guys have to wait till the end to watch out, or you can fast forward, I guess. But, but still, I'd appreciate if you watch the whole video. Uh, anyways, except, uh, sorry, about ads. There's ads, so. Anyways, big reason by it.
converted 42cc Troy built absolutely rips. I think I beat the 55, maybe. I don't know. We'll see.